through David and Sephora um, and, and the IRF view there was four, four people appointed, one in each province, um, with the mandate to identify um, and help develop and, and manage the best age grade players from 16 to 19 um, through the, the age grade pathway um, to try to work them through that, that pathway into being an academy entrant. Um, to, to increase and, and accelerate the very best indigenous talent that we have. A player must have, have, have good rugby ability, um, but that will only, only get them so far. Um, the, the, the big things outside of that would be a commitment to, to the programme, um, and if they show a commitment um, to, to the services that Ulster Rugby and, and the IRFU provide, um, it'll help them um, better develop as a as a player and maximise the potential that they, that, that they have. It's not an easy route to make it from age group rugby through to being an academy entrant and, and beyond. So that, that character and commitment um, is, is hugely important. They would re receive, I suppose, a, a service provision um, from the, the integrated service team that, that builds itself around, around that player because the player is central to everything that, that, that we do. So rugby, um, their strength and conditioning for, for physical development, um, nutrition, any medical physio needs, um, any performance psychology requirements that that player may have, and also a, a link into to Rugby Players Ireland if, if, that is, if that's required. To review where we've got to to date, 80% um, of our NTS3 players, which are under 19 group, um, made it through to being um, year one academy entrants. Um, and I suppose within Ulster we're, we're delighted that, that Matt Dalton um, would be the first national talent squad player who's been capped at, at senior level for Ulster. Further to that, 86% um, of all our national talent squad players would have been capped at Irish under 18s, um, under 19s or, 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 or under 20s. Um, with a total of I think 27 national jerseys last year, which is a, a, a great return. Um, and I think an increase of 76% over the last, the last six years. The success of the player is, is linked into the success of um, some, some of the squads that they've, they've played in. Um, and I suppose two interprovincial titles in, in the last couple of years uh, as well shows the success of the, of the age grade programme, which is, which is great. When we're in a, a Schools Cup um, semi-final week, um, a number of those players would be on show um, in, in, those, in those matches. Um, but it's important to note that over the last two or three years we would have approximately 15 schools throughout, throughout Ulster represented in that under-18 um, squad, which is hugely important for um, identifying talent uh, and then I suppose um, my aspect in, in looking to develop that talent um, further through the pathway. We've got a, a very strong relationship with both our, our, our clubs and our schools, which is, which is great. Um, within that we've got nine partnership schools within Ulster. Um, so th that is basically a partnership that's built around putting, putting the player first and putting the, the, the national talent squad player first um, so that the communication channels between the, the, the school and, and Ulster Rugby um, are, are clear and, uh, and concise and transparent um, and that we, again we assist that player in, in what their needs are at, at certain times of the year. And equally with the, with the clubs, um, a very strong relationship with a number of um, the youth conveners and, and, and youth coaches. Um, and again, that transparency and that communication that goes on weekly uh, and throughout the season, again, to ensure the players put first and to give them what they need um, to ensure that they reach um, their, their potential. In the pathway, in the clubs from 16s up to um, the, the under 18s, we'd have players from all nine, nine counties involved. Um, at, and at the very top end or, or top level of that, um, we have four um, club players who are in, in, in the academy, which is a, which is a, a great achievement uh, and shows the value that we place on our, on our clubs and the, the, the potential um, that is in that market. That relationship with our, with our clubs and schools is, is paramount. Um, you know, we, we don't operate um, at the performance end without all the, the hard work that's put in by them. Um, the, the recent success of our age grade squads, um, the representation at, at national level, all of that builds into a year-on-year -year stronger sub-academy 
um, and, and the quality of player that we're now getting in, in the academy is, is over and beyond what we've seen previously um, and that, that bodes well for, for all of Ulster rugby moving forwards.